Hi, welcome to another GIS tutorial. So first of all, you have to use your internet browser and log in to earthexplorer.usgs.gov. Earthexplorer.usgs.gov website. Now, as your internet browser, I would like to recommend you to use either Google Chrome or Firefox because I encountered some problems in logging into this uh, website using Microsoft Edge. So I recommend you to use either Google Chrome or Firefox. Now after you have logged into this website, now over here you can see some options where you can actually specify your area of interest. You can either type the name of the place over here directly or you can uh, you can also input the coordinates in degrees, minutes or seconds or even in decimal degree format or you can upload a shape file in order to uh, specify the area and even you can upload a Google Earth KMZ file uh, in order to just in order to just uh, mark the boundaries so in th this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to select on these coordinates and you can see that I have already zoomed into a part of Kenya and I'm simply going to select uh, coordinates over here and I'm going to specify my area of interest in terms of a polygon so as you can see I have already zoomed into a part of Kenya over here just going to zoom in a little bit further and if I zoom in more you, you can actually start seeing a river over here so for this tutorial my intention is actually to download the corresponding shapefile for this river so for that I'm going to now specify my area in terms of a polygon so in order to do that you can simply take your cursor over here and start drawing a polygon in a way that it would cover your area of interest or your region of interest okay I think that should do it you can see that I have almost uh, covered that part of the river and once you have done that you can simply scroll down over here and click on this data sets button because here I'm going to specify what sort of a data set that I'm going to download in this case it's going to be a water body so you can come to digital elevation over here and once you expand SRTM you can see that there is an option the last option is actually SRTM water body data so you can just tick, uh, check this one and scroll down and go to results all right now I'm going to zoom out a little bit and over here you can see that it has found us two options and in order to f in order to visually see actually what these two uh, these two options mean you can simply click on this footpath uh, actually it's a footprint so once you click on that you can see actually for which part the tile is available now you can see that this tile is actually corresponding to this part and let's click on this one and see and you can see actually this second tile almost covers a majority of my region of interest so I'm sort of going to neglect the this red color tile and I'm only going to download this uh, green color tile now before you download you have to make sure that you create your own account with the uh, Earth Explorer and and it will provide you with your with a with a username and a password after you log in to your account only after you log into your account you have the capability of actually downloading data for free so I'm just going to go ahead and download this uh, this particular tile click on download over here and as you can see we were we were able to actually download a zip folder so I'm going to extract this zip folder to my uh, directory extract to all right now let's go back to ArcMap now as you can see in ArcMap I have already actually loaded a base map so once we add this downloaded data into our interface we will actually be able to clearly uh, visually see what sort of what sort of data we, we just downloaded from the USGS website and once you have added the base map just go to layers right click and go to properties and make sure that you are in WGS 1984 geographic coordinate systems projection 
WGS1984. Click Apply and OK. Now I'm going to go to Arc Catalog and this was the folder which I extracted my downloaded uh, zip file into and this is the shape file, the corresponding shape file. I'm going to drag it and drop it over here and it's going to give me uh, a warning so I'm just going to click OK and I will just zoom in to the part of Kenya where we downloaded the data from And here you can see that we have successfully downloaded the part of river which we which we uh, specified in our area of interest. And if you even go to the attributes table over here, you will actually be able to perform further tasks such as uh, calculating the surface area of this water body, etc. So, and if you want, you can go ahead and probably change the color. in order to better visualize your downloaded GIS data. So before I wrap up this tutorial I would also like to uh, tell you that since we got the warning saying that this particular data does not have its own projection uh, I'm also going to actually assign a projection to that. Now you can further verify that by actually going into this uh, shapefile right click and go to properties and over here under the coordinate system you can see that it's undefined. Now you have to verify that your data frame is actually in the correct projection. So in order to do that you can actually go to layers, right click and go to properties and over here you can verify that it's still in WGS 1984. After that you can simply go to your shapefile, right click and go to data and export data and over here under the coordinate system you have to select the data frames coordinate system which we already assigned to be uh, WGS 1984 and I'm going to give a name to this one as river and click OK alright now there's a new shapefile I'm going to get rid of the old one and now if I go to this new shapefile and if I go to properties you can see that we have successfully assigned the correct projection to our new shapefile. So that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and if, and if you would like to see more interesting GIS tutorials almost every day, I would invite you to uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel and, and also you can follow me on Facebook to get the latest updates as soon as I release a new video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.